I found 11 remote jobs that nobody is talking about that are gonna be great for 2024. And these are all jobs that don't require a college degree and in most cases, they don't require any experience either. So if you appreciate me doing these types of videos, let me know by gently tapping that like button and let's get into it with number one on the list, which is going to be an egg donor intake coordinator. And in this position, you're basically gonna be like a matchmaker, linking potential egg donors with intended parents seamlessly. And in this position, you're gonna facilitate the selection process between egg donors and prospective parents, ensuring a smooth experience for both parties. And your role basically involves managing the intake of new egg donor applicants, maintaining clear communication throughout the process, collaborating across teams, and handling administrative tasks all remotely. And in this role, you'd expect to make about 38 to $57,000 a year. So here is an opportunity. I'll put it up on the screen for you. You can pause it and check it out if you'd like to. And overall, this is an easy role to get into. Doesn't typically require a college degree or previous experience. However, it is relatively low paying. So for that reason, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an expedite track and trace specialist. And this position plays a vital role in managing the behind the scene logistics of a company, ensuring shipments move swiftly and smoothly without the need for direct delivery involvement. So basically, you're going to be overseeing the constant flow of shipments by tracking their progress, coordinating pickups and deliveries, and maintaining strong client relationships through detailed communication. And there's many different industries that you can work in doing this role. A few of them would involve the e-commerce industry, the medical industry, and retail goods. And in this role, you'd expect to make about forty-six to $67,000 a year. Now, this is another one that does not require a college degree or previous experience, and it's relatively easy to get into. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen and you can check them out. Next is going to be a student safety analyst. And this is an easy, high paying remote job that involves monitoring and ensuring online safety of students, providing a unique opportunity to earn good income while safeguarding young minds in the digital realm. Here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. And in this role, you make about 60 to $95,000 a year. And the craziest thing is it doesn't always require a college degree or previous experience. Now there are some roles that prefer a college degree or previous experience, but usually they don't require it. So this is a really good one. It's also really high paying. I'm gonna give it an eight 0.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a data journalist. And a data journalist collects, analyzes, and visualizes complex data to uncover meaningful insights. And then they try to tell compelling stories through data-driven journalism. So you basically have to have data analysis skills and journalist skills. And data journalists make about $81,000 a year. Now to get started in this position, you don't necessarily have to have a college degree or previous experience. However, you do have to have skills when it comes to data. Luckily, there are many many different places that you can learn these skills on the internet. One of my favorite ones is Coursera, and I've talked about them a lot on this channel. So here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out if you'd like to. And I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of nine out of 10. Now, data journalist is going to be one of the hardest roles to get into in this video, but getting into the technology industry is absolutely amazing because it's probably the best industry that you could work in. And one of the easiest jobs that you can get your foot in the door in the technology industry is going to be tech sales. And the entry level job in tech sales is called a business development representative. And from there, you can move to just about any other type of job in technology. And I've actually interviewed a bunch of people in this channel who've been able to secure roles as business development representatives. For instance, Kevin was a laid off construction worker who was able to secure a job in 29 days and he made over $65,000 his first year. And he was able to do that through a company called Course Careers. And they've actually helped thousands of people get into tech sales. And they offer a free course that tells you all about tech sales, basically everything that you need to know. And it's going to help you figure out if it's the right choice for you. And you can check that course out by clicking the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. Next on the list is going to be a customer care embrace. Now, this particular role is going to be for the company Embrace Pet Insurance, and you're going to be offering guidance and assistance to pet owners with policy inquiries and claims. And typically, you're going to be taking calls, managing emails, assisting in policy adjustments, and ensuring that pet parents understand coverage details. And in this position, you'd expect to make about $31,000 to $39,000 a year. Now, this is a very easy position to get into, doesn't require a college degree or previous experience. However, because of the fact that it's low paying, I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a genealogy researcher. And this is basically where you research the genetics of people to uncover their family tree. 
So you're gonna be doing things like tracing and documenting family history, conducting in-depth research on ancestral lines, and uncovering connections between individuals and their ancestors through historical records, databases, and interviews. I am your father. And genealogy researchers make about $59,000 a year. Now you can do this as a job working for companies like Ancestry.com. You can also do it as a freelancer working for websites like Upwork.com. And yeah, this one's pretty good. It's also very interesting. I'm gonna give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a visual interpreter. And this is basically a remote role where you help visually impaired people. Now there's several different ways that you can do this. In some cases, they'll actually wear glasses that have cameras attached attached to them and the glasses live stream whatever they're looking at. In other cases, they might use their phone or their webcam or their computer, but basically you tell them what they're looking at. So for instance, they might be trying to order something online and you can kind of tell them where to click, or they may be reading some medical test results and you can tell them what it says. But this is an incredibly cool and useful role. And typically you'll make about $20 base pay per hour. Now here's an opportunity. I'll put it up on the screen. You can check it out. I'm going to give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, share this video with a friend, family member, or someone who just needs a job, maybe because you think some of these would be a good fit for them, and maybe because you just want to get their opinion on the video. I can't tell you how many people have told me that they send this to their nieces, their nephews, or their brothers or sisters in order to help them get a job. And honestly, I think that's awesome because the best way to grow a channel like this is grassroots. Next is going to be a remote lab dispatcher. And this is someone who basically handles the timely dispatch of service orders to field personnel, facilitating smooth operations in a call center environment from a remote setup. And basically, you're gonna be dispatching different service orders. You're gonna be coordinating arrival times, and you're gonna communicate effectively to ensure flawless execution. So for instance, maybe somebody took some kind of blood test, and that needs to be taken to a lab so it can be processed, and that would be an example of an order that would be shipped somewhere. And you would be coordinating all of that. And lab dispatchers make about forty-one to $58,000 a year. So this one's pretty easy to get into, doesn't require a college degree or previous experience typically. However, it does require training, but the companies usually will provide that training for you. Now here's an opportunity, I'll put it up on the screen, you can check it out. So I'm gonna give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. This is one of the many health-related careers that are relatively easy to get into, pay pretty well, and they're extremely stable. By the way, if you haven't done it already and you've made it this far into the video, what are you thinking? Go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out because I have some awesome videos planned for 2024. Next is going to be an arbitration subrogation specialist. Now I know that that is a mouthful, but they're basically responsible for investigating and recovering subrogation claims from insurance entities utilizing in-depth knowledge and analysis. So you're kind of going to be the middleman between an insurance company and a claim holder. And in this role, you'd make about $55,000 a year. So you typically don't need a college degree or previous experience to get into this role. And by the way, if you see some job postings that say that they do require experience, typically, and I know this from experience because I've helped hundreds of people get jobs, just go ahead and apply anyways. I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of 7.5 out of 10. Next is going to be a bereavement coordinator. And this is a position where you're gonna be helping families and staff in addressing and coping with the complexities of grief and loss within healthcare environments. And this role involves identifying and addressing bereavement needs for family, staff, and volunteers, providing support, resources, and training to understand the psychosocial dynamics of illness, loss, and death. So you're gonna be helping with the grieving side of things, but in some cases you may also also help with the insurance and the money side of things. Because when someone passes away, it can actually get really messy if they haven't set things up in a particular way when it comes to distributing their wealth. This is a process called probate, and if you've ever had to go through it, it can be very complicated. And in this position, you make about $58,000 to $93,000 a year. Now with this one, there are some companies that are gonna require a college degree or previous experience, but in many cases, they just prefer it. So this one is pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a a creator support agent. And this position is the backbone of the creator economy. And they provide technical guidance and exceptional support to content creators navigating platform usage and business growth. Now the creator economy right now is valued at over $100 billion and it's expected to double within the next few years. And it's actually one of the fastest growing industries out there. And I personally think it is one of the best possible industries that you can get into. And of course, that's the industry that I work in as a YouTuber. And I actually do coach people one-on-one -on -one with YouTube. As somebody who's gotten to six figures myself, I've also 
helped other people get to six figures per month on YouTube. And if you're interested in my coaching, I do accept a few people per month usually, but only people who are serious about having success on YouTube. And you can check that out by clicking the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. But creator support agents make about 40 to $65,000 a year. And it's one of those roles that's relatively easy to get into. It's relatively new. They prefer younger people because younger people are more familiar with content and social media, and it doesn't require a college degree or previous experience. So this one is pretty good. I'm going to give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, I had a video go viral and people just absolutely loved it. And it was on the seven remote jobs that are almost always hiring. And you can check that video out by clicking right here.